Hi, and welcome to Start With Your Heart. This brief video is going to be super catalyst in helping you fine tune, define, and implement some strategies to getting you on the path to living a life that is led by your heart. Many of you know my story, but one of the most important aspects of my story that people talk to me about all the time and ask me about, certainly in this day and age, is how to rise from the ashes. And one of the reasons that I became so successful was because I always, always, and without even thinking about it, led with my heart. When I started teaching Zumba, I was never trying to make money. I was never even trying to build a big class. I was trying to heal the disease and my heart was leading the way. I surrendered completely to my heart space and asked my heart every day to lead. In retrospect, I realized that this process, this process has been catalyst not only to my own business, but to hundreds of others of multi-billion dollar businesses, Zumba being one of them. Heart-led businesses is really what the world is waiting for. And I know if you're watching this video, the world is waiting for you. Here are my top three strategies to beginning to listen and lead with your heart. Now, the first strategy may seem obvious, but you have to listen to your heart. So how do you connect with your heart? This is probably the simplest and the most important thing to even getting started is to find out how to connect with your heart, how to truly listen, authentically and genuinely with an honor and respect and a passion to listen to your heart. Now, this may seem woo woo or hoity toity, but the truth of the matter is, is it's one of the best business strategies I've ever known. I often talk about the Tom's model. Tom's founders came in and they decided that they wanted to make an impact in the world, but they didn't know exactly how to do it. They were a shoe company after all. When one day the founder really connected with his heart and he received the inspiration to do a one for one program. Now, obviously the rest is history on that one. Tom's became one of the biggest multi-billion dollar businesses and brands in the industry. Why? Because the CEO listened and connected with his heart. So many people connect differently with their hearts. The most common way, obviously, is through meditation where you can quiet your mind and connect and listen to your heart. Even just the intention of dropping into your heart space and spending some time there in that quiet, sacred sanctuary. It's yours and yours alone. And there's nothing in this sanctuary that can hurt you. So I think that for me, when I started uh, with healing, I made a promise to myself. I didn't know the road ahead, but I knew that I had to trust. I had to trust the inspirations, the intuitions, and I had to trust my heart. We're not really trained for this, um, certainly not in the Western world. We don't go to school and learn to listen to our hearts. We go to school to learn from the books. Our mind is what we really fine tune and cultivate. But what I have found is that your mind is meant to work for your heart and we're not really taught that. So it's a little bit of a deprogramming where you have to undo some of what you learned, but at the same time, you're cultivating and programming your heart to lead the way. One of my coaches, Lisa Berkowitz, always talks about your heart as the CEO. And I love that idea. When you are leading with your heart, your heart is your CEO. And why? Because your heart knows things that your mind could never fathom. Your heart is not only your sacred space, but it is the connection to the higher source and to the energy of all that can lead you on the right path. Again, I know that may sound hoity-toity, but it's not. It is one of the best business strategies. And I promise you, if you make a commitment to connecting with your heart, whether it be through meditation or just dropping in or another way that I love to connect is through something that I love doing, dancing. 
when I'm dancing or teaching my class, it's a no-brainer. The music goes on and within five minutes, I'm heart-led. I'm totally leading with my heart. And the more you do it, the more you put it into practice, the stronger that will be. It's like a spiritual muscle. You start out with very little, but the more you practice and the more you work out that spiritual muscle, the stronger it gets. Another way of connecting with your heart is communing with nature. Um, going for hikes, being at an ocean side, being by some water, just sitting and being in nature is listening to the heart of the planet. It's beautiful, it's meaningful, and it's profound. Connecting with your heart is the first way to start with your heart. Now, I think the other thing that I'd love to talk to you about is there may be some healing, there may be some trauma. When you connect with your heart, that will also come to the surface. So respect the process. This isn't a degree. This isn't something that you're gonna get a piece of paper and hang it on a wall when you're done. This is a constant day-to-day, moment-to-moment connecting. When you connect with your heart, you will find that you will get inspirations, you will get ideas, and you will get cues to go ahead and make some moves. Don't make a move if it's not from your heart. The second tool for success with starting with your heart is going deep. None of us came here to be mediocre. None of us did. And yet what I find looking out in the world is everyone's trying to just skate along uh, in their own market space. So if you're talking about building a business with your heart, I would encourage you to dig deeper than anybody else. And I bet you, I bet you that means sharing your own story. So what a lot of businesses do that I see that are basically skating the surface, they're not able to scale up their business, it's because they're just meeting the status quo. But guess what? Nobody wants the status quo. The market is different now. For sure the market is different now. People were traumatized and they are being traumatized by lockdowns and elections and COVID all around it's just been traumatizing so you have to understand that if you're going out as an entrepreneur your market has completely changed i don't care what business you're in your market has changed so that being said what you need to understand is that people are looking for you to show up on a deeper level don't just scratch the surface with what you're doing go deep get real get authentic and get profound People don't want just the status quo. They want you to show up with your story, with your vulnerability, and with your authenticity, which all comes from your heart. And go deep. Meet people at the level at which they are and then also bring them up, okay? So when I say go deep, I mean be profound in what you are doing. If you're committed to your industry, don't just do what needs to be done to get by. Go the extra step, dig a little deeper, drink from a deeper well. The world and your community and the impact you're gonna make on it needs you to show up in excellence. So think about that. Think about how you can not only commit to what you're doing, commit to coming from your heart space, but to go a little bit deeper and then bring that up. The last tool, and this is an important one that I'm gonna share with you, is trusting that your story is important to share. Trusting that you have the tools to step up and step out and live this extraordinary life. Trusting that your heart over your mind can lead you to extraordinary success. Trusting is one of the biggest, most difficult, most challenging things any of us can do because we're constantly wanting to control things. And the heart says, hold on a second, let me take the wheel. Let me control, let me lead you. And I believe truly that the way the world has shifted, 
that if you can come to a place where you can trust that what you have been through, what you have learned from what you have been through, your passions, your loves, all of that, that you bring to the table with an authentic, genuine respect for your own legacy and your own heart and your own story bring that to your table bring that to your business and bring that to leading with your heart when you trust in your own story and trust that it is valid and that it is important to share and that people can and will change be affected and be transformed just by you showing up the game changes because then you're not worried about what anybody else is doing you're not worried about what the competition is doing because you understand there is no competition. There is no competition. How can anybody compete with your own life and your own legacy and your own story? This is an inside job here. This is an inside job. I'm so excited you're starting on this journey. I hope that these tools helped you. If you want some more information and more tidbits, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and get connected with me on my website. I send out newsletters put out videos all the time. Plus, I've got a bunch of courses up there that I'd love for you to join. Thank you, everyone. Be healthy.